What's poppin' it's Lewis, I'm here with Tom, and today we're doing a Premier League predictions video. Hello! Oh, that was a bit long, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> do you want to go first? You, who's your 20th position then? I feel like we'll do one, again, one each, and then, I'll tell you what, we'll just do a joint one. I just like a we'll joint just, one? Yeah, because obviously it's really annoying to edit. Like, that oh, last okay. one, because we sat there and like, I put both the fullbacks in, and then I realised, oh wait, we did left back and right back, I can't bother to change it, because <laughs> okay. it needs to go for about 10 minutes, so... <laughs> <laughs> All right, my twenty. If it, it's it's got to be um, who is it? Fuck. West Brom. No, not West Brom. Actually, yeah, no Fulham. Do you put Fulham? Fulham rock bottom. Okay, fair enough. I'll agree with that. Just for the pure fact, they came up last, not this season, the season before, and they really struggled to score, and they couldn't. You couldn't. You couldn't pay the attackers to not score. <laughs> league East defence in the league. You could bribe them whatever you want. Yeah, the leakiest defence. And I don't think Scott Parker is tactically astute to the Premier League. He he His players are just mentally strong. I don't know if that's going to get him through <laughs> safety. West Brom 19th? I think it's just between West Brom and Aston Villa, surely. I think... I think or maybe Burnley. But are you are you okay? Okay, I, yeah. That was, I'd, I'd that chuck, was a misjudgment. I, I, I would I would, tr- I would chuck Crystal Palace in that debate as well. West Brom and Crystal Palace or West Brom that nah, Villa got to go down surely. I think that I think it's going to be close between uh, nine, say 19th and 16th will probably be quite close. I think probably um, Aston Villa though. Aston Villa 19th. Aston Villa. Just, just for a few facts, they the only reason they're up is because of a goal line technology. F- Miss, yeah. miss happens, yeah. isn't it? And then it's got to be West Brom, sure. Yeah, West, West Brom, they don't really have a And then Crystal today. Palace just say, yeah. that, that, that Again, could all really, switch, though. They can't really shoot. Well, well they, they, I mean, they've Eze. Got they've, got Sahar, they've got Eze. Eze. And then I think... They're kind of, it depends how good Eze is in the Premier League. Because I don't think he's he's not physically built enough for the league yet, I don't think. No. But that could come with time. Wait, so we've done... We've just uh, done 17th. 16th. 16th. So you got? West Ham. Yeah, West Ham. Because they they really really struggled. They <laughs> sorry I've got the table. They, they were really really bangers. really struggling. Also sorry if the audio is really weird here because I'm kind of holding the phone and I think I've moved it a lot. So. Especially Haller, he's been a flop. Anderson didn't have a great season. I'm just casually holding a rock for that reason. Uh, Haller wasn't great. Yeah. Fabianski quality goalkeeper though. You can't lie. For his age as well, he he can make a top class save. He's yeah. got top class game in him. I don't really wait David Moyes though. The only thing he's really good for is keeping you up. That's yeah. all he can do. Uh, if you're an ambitious club, why have you hired David Moyes? Yeah. Like, and the thing is, the owners, the owners think they're they're like one of the best clubs in the league, but they're not. They're yeah. one of the worst clubs in the league, so they're deluded. Yeah. Get the owners out. Been off the. the... <laughs> Who are you talking? Oh yeah, we're Sorry, <laughs> Sorry, I should let you talk right now. Actually, yeah. But... Right. Who we got next though? You got wait fifteenth now, isn't it? Yeah, you got Brighton. Brighton, yeah. Brighton or Leeds? I feel like Brighton or Leeds because yeah. Brian Potter's a good manager. Yeah, yeah. Brighton, Brighton have then they've stayed up. They're like they have consi- like, it's because consistently they've got a rock, stayed up. It's because they've got a rock solid defence. The defence is good, yeah. They've got good well, defense. they've let Shane Duffy go out on loan. Why have they done that? Probably to let Ben White play actually. Yeah. Then you got then you got Leeds having first time back in the Premier for quite I think, a while. In it? 16 years. Yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I, I think Bielsa, world class coach. Like, world class coach. The players, because they've got. Because it, 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 are the players Premier League players or are they still I, I feel Championship like players? Some of them are Premier League quality. Oh, sorry, sorry that was really loud because I had that right next to my face. Cal- Calvin <laughs> Phillips is a, is a quality player. And you retired over here. A quality <laughs> player. I think Rodrigo. Right in the yeah. right tactical, yeah. In the it, right tactical, it, it, it's how you use Rodrigo. In the right tactical system, yeah. he could bang in maybe twelve goals. That isn't that much. That's like one so every three. Where have we got? Is that fourteen? Yeah, yeah. Four, but then two could change as well. Yeah, thirteen. Newcastle. Newcastle, yeah. Yeah, Newcastle. But they, they, Ooh. they just play no, such no. Route One football, don't they? Just, They've also got Burnley. No, Burn, 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 Burnley. Burnley. Newcastle. Yeah. Newcastle. Like Newcastle, they can't stand in because they're there. They've like, got Saint Maximan. He they, basically carries their attack. Yeah, they don't have And they've got £40 that. million pound flop janitors who's got two league really gold last year. <laughs> That's £20 million pound a goal. £20 million pound for every league goal he scores. Yeah. Do you know how mad that is? Like, People work their entire lives, so don't make 20 mil. 
One goal from him is worth it. I thought Burnley's got to go back out though. Burnley, 12. I feel like, I mean, but people always under, underestimate Burnley. I, I feel like I feel like you can't really put them much higher considering what you've got above them. I, I, unless you go Everton and put Burnley above Everton. Probably Burnley. Burnley then. Again, Everton. they're just good all over the pitch, yeah, aren't just, they? The manager just, is. They've got a team. They're, like, they're just consistently there. They're just they're just very mentally strong and they know how to get a clean sheet when they need to. I am actually tempted to not put Everton to put Wolves below Everton. I know that sounds really stupid, but, but Everton now have a midfield. Or at least hope well, they, they've got Alan. I mean, they have a midfield, it might not be very look, good. Like, but they've now got Alan, and by and the looks of it, they've got Hannes, Hannes and, and Decore. And, like, neither of them are confirmed yet, but they might as well be. They're aging, though. This is quite a good midfield, though. He's they can actually do, do they can actually do something with that midfield. I feel like, why are we even talking about them? Because that's, that was just 12th we put Burnley. Yeah, we've got to be Southampton next, surely. Oh, yeah, we haven't done Southampton, have we? I just skipped straight over Southampton. Considering yeah. Southampton, they won, lost 9-0 in yeah. Leicester, the joint worst yeah. league defeat in history, in Premier League history. To, to, to come back and have a solid finish, all credit goes to the manager and the players, to get back on track. You know the goalkeeper, Anders Gunn, hasn't played a single Premier League game since he's conceded nine goals. Which is fair enough, because he's yeah. nine goals, he never played again. Right? What? That was 11 at Southampton. Yeah, Ten. and also Danny Ings. Oh, yeah. Quality. Right? I don't, quality. I don't think he'd fit anywhere else other than Southampton, but he's quite a player. Temps Scott to be Sheffield United. Is it, though? That's the question. Is it Sheffield United? I feel United? like they might have a bit of second season syndrome. Yeah. But they but won't. there is that there. They, they're cu- it turns out good that Because like half their. Some of their wins were a bit lucky. Their, their team is like, not Premier League quality. The ball falls to the striker who just taps it in. No, <laughs> like was, their team goals. is not Premier League quality. Look, also. They just play for each other. That's all they yeah. do. And the tactics are quite good. Ninth. And overlapping the overlapping centre. Oh, that ninth then. Ninth. We're starting to reach a difficult bit. <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's got to be Everton. 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 Because Ancel- Everton or Wolves. Ancelotti, he's a good manager. You can't yeah. lie. World class on his day. And the midfield. Yeah, has a midfield. And they have Richarlison up front. And they have Richarlison. And that who I'm not the biggest fan of. And that, Bra- and that Brazilian player. chemistry could be sweet. Yeah. And Bernard, but he's about five foot five. But they do so. a pick for the goal. They and do they don't really have a defence. Well, the, okay, Yo, Yo Mina and whoever else. Michael Keane. Michael Keane. Dinier. Dinier. Okay, Dinier is quite good. Right. He, he did have a really bad season there last season. Or at least the end of the season. Dinier is one of them players. Do you ever get a really good game out of him? I feel like Everton's going to be the one that's going to be. Like people are either gonna put it too high or they're gonna put it too low. I, f- I feel like no. I feel like no one's ever gonna get Everton. Nine's probably a solid prediction. Yeah, nine. Who are we missing? Why do I feel like we're missing right, a mid-table eight. team? Eight, right, eight. Leicester. Leicester. Leicester Wolves or. Wolves or. Leicester They're Wolves in League or Two. <laughs> Leicester Wolves or <laughs> oh, Arsenal. Okay. Uh, but nine. It's gotta be like eight. Eight. Yeah. Leicester. Eight. It's gotta be Leicester. Because uh, uh, did you see their f- the run of I form? Th- they were, yeah, they got they that. Were, they were the, third for like and 14 also, points and, they, and they slipped The it. start of their season is going to be a bit of a thing because they've got led Champions League games as well. Are they, they Champions don't League? Europa League. Europa League. They're, they're still Europe games. And they're not used to that schedule so that could yeah. really affect them. So I think 8th is probably... And it's probably, Thursday as well. And 8th is probably a yeah. sensible prediction for them. 7th... It's got to be Wolves. It's got to yeah, be Wolves. Wolves. They'll, best, they'll probably will go higher than that. But like, they're always yeah. best of the rest, aren't they, really? 6th. Arsenal. No, Tottenham. Nah. Tottenham, Tottenham no, are not Arsenal. as good as Arsenal. Tottenham are not nah, as good as Arsenal. Arsenal. Oh, you've got to put Arsenal 6. No, Tottenham are not as good as Arsenal, I don't think. Uh, Tottenham aren't as good as Arsenal. Please, no, but look at the run of form. The run of form. That both teams are still doing quite well. Like. Yeah, but I feel like Arsenal... Tottenham, with Tottenham, I thought, I thought they're ball jobs. It, you bottle it every single time. The Champions League, you bottled it. The one game you didn't play in one of the Champions League, it was happened to be the final, didn't it? Yeah. The one time you didn't play well. Yeah. And I can, I, it might, it'd probably be close and it could go either way, but I feel like... Could we do Arsenal just for the bias? No. Please. It's got, it's got to be, surely. All right, we can do that, but it could go either way. You have yeah. to admit, it could yeah. go either yeah, way. Yeah, it could do. Like, Arsenal then scores. I feel like when Tottenham go in a bad run of form, they struggle yeah. to get out of it because of... I don't just chose not to talk about Arsenal. We just, we just started talking about Tottenham. The, the players men- yeah, like, sometimes the players' mentality is not very um, good. Yeah, like I feel like with the first players, what if one thing happens, like yellow card, booking, penalty, it free kick. The entire team. Like, if, if like a stupid free kick they've conceded goes in, it's like they're just everything falls to the You can picture but, but Mourinho is one of those managers that that's one of the main things he tries to stop. 
But... Yeah, but it's the manager can say it, but it's up to the players yeah. to actually yeah. do it at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oh, that's my phone. That's for clarification. <laughs> right. right um, Is it fourth now? Fourth. Man United. Yeah. It's got to be Man United. Man United. Their attack is yeah, quite they, essential. They, they, I feel like they don't really have a defence, though, do they? They, they don't really have an out-and-out striker, in my opinion. I feel like they, they can do what you know where they just have a rotation where yeah. and all of the forwards can like, play anywhere, can't they? They're basically just all wing, I, in my opinion they're all wingers but, but they can okay and Greenwood. But like and they can but all of them can strike a ball pretty well. Bru- yeah, Bruno like, Fernandez lighting up the Premier League. I don't think he should people put him in his Premier League team in the season. I personally I don't think you can put someone in the yeah. team of the season when they joined in January. And it, and also it would be interesting like and also like Bruno Fernandez like all but all Man United do is score penalties. Score penalties. Yeah, and they get really lucky with the penalty yeah. as well. Like lucky, or is it just the refs being biased? Yeah. Because you know, slipping a bit of Muller in their back. I feel, like, I feel like at least at least some of the refs are about like whole Man I, United are the best team in England sort of. I, I think thing. it's. Referees, but we won't go to refs. We won't go into refs. Ref, at the end of the day, refs are human. They make yeah. mistakes. Yeah. And. Well, some of them are mistakes. Every, but every, every, <laughs> obviously, every yeah. person has some form of bias towards a team. Yeah. yeah. So, so, um, so when refs say they don't have bias, yeah, it's, it's not true because it depends how the like the, the 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 bias can actually come from more than one. It can, it, yeah, it more can. than one place because like some 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 refs might not have like literally even really. Obviously, most of them will have heard of. English football and like no. I mean, if they're imagining, but... if they're referencing English football, I'd imagine they've heard of English football. Though, yeah, I know. Like, so they won't know too much about. Some of them don't know too much about the teams. So like, but it's unfair to say they ne- yeah. they don't have bias because yeah. they do. Yeah. But now, now we're getting to the right. juicy bit. Right now, third Man City. It's got to be Man City. I like the thing is that the, the top three. I reckon could go anyway. But I'm gonna go Man City. Just for the pure fact, I think next season. They're not going to pay as much attention in the league. They're going to go for the Champions League. Before, just for the pure fact, they need to win it. Yeah. And I think Pep Guardiola needs to win it to prove that. Yeah. He is he's good. Yeah. He, he's good. And he's not just a team. And I feel like they're just going to play the youth in the Premier League games and yeah. not be able to... Well, not the youth, but like the, the not-so-good players. Like, yeah, like... <laughs> they do still have a really decent like team, but not uh, playing their first team. Uh, they're just not going to play the best players they possibly could. Yeah. Like, they'll probably play, like... I don't know... <laughs> I'm Zach Stefan. Like Phil, Foden, Phil Foden and he'll he'll start next season. Stable. Right now, second, who you got? Liverpool. I'm gonna go Liverpool. Liverpool. Like, no, I, I, I who's there, there, there's two things. One, obviously, they could do the same thing they did this year. But also, t- most of what happened this year with Liverpool, I would Man say, City was down to well. was down to one Man City not doing that well, but also two, basically every other team in the Premier League did not play very well last season. Yeah, because wasn't it like if the same if you got like because and half of their wins like one nil, one nil win one nil win like 89th minute 87th minute 80th minute sort of goals. I feel like by which point that and at that point most teams do just shut off and think we've lost it. I, like. I, I, if you're considering an 87 minute I feel like um, Liverpool they either it's down to Jordan Henderson really isn't it yeah. without Jordan Henderson they can't play their style of football and he, well they can't every time they every time they play out of Jordan Henderson they don't win basically because that 3-0 against Liverpool didn't have 3-0 against Liverpool 3-0 against Watford they didn't yeah. have Jordan Henderson I he should have won there should be MVP should there he would have won MVP, no doubt in yeah. my mind. They wouldn't, because he is the most valuable yeah. player to the system that they play. But he's not the best player in the league, so he shouldn't have won Player of the Year. He should have won MVP. Yeah. But not Player of the Year. Then that is Chelsea up front. Like, Chelsea. Like, they, like they've got like you, you just look at their transfer window. You've got Ch- the, the, Ziyech, the, the, Werner, Ziyech, Havertz, Havertz, Melangsar, Melangsar, Thiago Silva, Silva, and Ben Chilwell. Ben Chilwell. Like and possibly a goalie, and if they get a goalie, and possibly Declan Rice still, and possibly Declan Rice, I'd, I'd imagine they'll go for a goalie first. Yeah, if they go for Declan Rice over a goalie, then they're weird. But yeah. that basically means I feel like really we, we, every game. We so. probably had the best attack in the league. I know that's debatable. Yeah. If it's not, if it's not the best, it's second best. Yeah. The only one that's really probably up there is Man City. It depends what you say. It depends what you say is attack and what you actually play in attack. Because it depends if Havertz is in attack. Yeah. If you don't account Havertz as the attacker as the midfield, I mean Havertz is an attacker. I reckon Chelsea play him in midfield, not as an attacker. They might play him in midfield, but 
his his role will be to attack. He'll be able to attack, and then when 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 everyone drops back, he'll be in the midfield. He, and then the because I feel like they're like going to they, that will drop. They're going to have Havertz and probably Kovacic to Kante to yeah. d- just play play behind him so got, that because both Kovacic and Kante can't run. Kovacic and Kante can both run on the pitch and, and, Kante, and They can both ping a ball. Kante well. is one of the best defensive midfielders in yeah. the world. They they could both def- look. Kovacic maybe not so good at and Co- and Kovacic is a good player. Havertz is a good. Kante can defend. It's our defense. Kovacic can pass. It's our defense that's the issue. Can... Because yeah. Thiago Silva's good, but he's 30. He's going to be t- 36 in front of isn't he? Yeah. But I don't know if he's going to be able to continue to play at that elite level anymore. He's still better than what you got. He's still better <laughs> than what you've got. But oh, pairing no, with Zuma, they, they can speak French in the middle, but then you've got the issue of Ben Chilwell on the left, don't you? And he's also injured for six weeks. Or when we signed him, he's injured. Yeah. He's got a heel injury. What the fuck is that? Yes, fly. But I feel, I feel like with, with uh, Chelsea, like you have... A quite healthy amount of players as well, because like your players will be like the re- fighting each other to get into that team. Like Mason Mount, like we oh. haven't even mentioned him. Like he would, he will want to be in that team, and he will be. But it to could go the team. other way. It could go the other way because they could start thinking, why yeah. am I not getting in the team and not try? Yeah. So like, it really depends on the attitude of, of the player. Like, this, it's weird, but I feel like maybe like Ziyech or someone getting injured would actually help you. In the yeah. sense that then that they we then have improve our... they then also then that player there is like. You spent this money on me. You're gonna play me. Like I need to play. Like um, I want got, to play on the. And it's not like we've got quality off the bench as well. Yeah. Abraham Giroud, Hudson Odoi. You can't say <laughs> they're not, not, not terrible players. They're, they're, you I'm can't, you can't exactly say they're not. I never said the top tier, but they're quality. Like, they, yeah. They, they've shown they can do the Premier League yeah. level. Yeah. The thing is, a Tavi Abraham. I feel like Giroud just shouldn't work in the Premier League, but he just does. Yeah, he's such a sexy man as well. Isn't like he? he's so slow, but he could just seem to somehow make something of it and put it in the back of the net. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Abraham misses too many chances. Yeah, right. Before we start going on the whole rant about Chelsea, I think right we're 15 minutes in. So All right. Hi, I'm currently editing. Uh, and I realised we didn't actually do our Golden Boots, Golden Gloves and Player of the Season. So we've had a chat. Um, that Tom went with Werner as his Golden Boot. I went with Kane. We both went with Pope as the Golden Glove. And we also both went with De Bruyne as our Player of the Season. So, it's the outro. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Ludacurs um, to get any updates about us, um, whether we're going to be late to upload, like we did on this video, actually. <laughs> Lots, <laughs> lovely to mate. Um, uh, yeah. Um, we have a Discord. This was also, this was, just to point out, this was actually was supposed to be a podcast, but we just decided we needed to do a previous video. So we this, did that. this is a. We have a Discord. That's going to be link in the description. Thanks yeah. for that, Lewis. <laughs> Giving you a bit of extra work. Uh, yeah. It's in my coffee paste in the description anyway. Until next time, see ya.